So El Presidente is back for his second term, serving the American people. He was run out of stamina, so he's gonna need some sleep. Let's go into the next turn. We are doing it rather decently. We do have Florida, California. We do have the most Western states. And we will go for the Northeast with Hillary Clinton as our second running mate. Uh, so she'll be the vice president if we manage to win. Romney seems to be working on California. He seems to have upgraded his Romney election headquarters up to the highest amount uh, as much as we have. But we also have a TV ad running up over here. So we shouldn't really have too much to worry about. Let's go ahead and try to get on the good side of the Arizonians by maybe giving a speech on deficit reduction. It's not a uh, too hot of an issue, but it will improve our relations between the Democrats, Independents, and the Republicans. So, let's give a speech about the deficit reduction. Unfortunately, like we can't do, go ahead and talk about illegal immigration because that's more Romney's type of thing. So, we'll go for give speech and a deficit reduction, and I favor it. Yes, I greatly favor it. Okay, so we've got a speech in here, and now they're starting to like me, so that's helped us out a little bit. Now. What are the states do we need? We seem to be doing rather well in uh, Florida. Uh, I probably should be going for Ohio as well. We seem to be pretty evenly off. I seem to be winning um, with uh, more uh, percentage of the votes, with a larger percentage, but our awareness isn't as high. I could work on that. So let, how about we actually, I don't know what I should do. Uh, I think what I should do is actually go to build head, oh. So let's go to, so there's all these tabs that you can use, like your yeah, awareness, who's really aware of you, electoral votes, who has the most votes, but what I wanna do is go to state wealth. Let's see what would be nice. So yeah, I'm not gonna actually do anything with Texas because it'll be a waste of time. It's obviously biased towards the Republicans and Romney's gonna win that. So uh, I'll just give Texas up because, just because there's no real point in, in actually investing. It's, it'd be a complete waste of money. I could go for some other swing states like Ohio and just uh, really uh, try my hardest over there. We seem to be winning uh, a large percentage of the vote now. We actually pulled away with that turn. Uh, one turn could make such a big difference. Uh, so in New York, we're gonna be getting all these states with Hillary Clinton though. Uh, what else could we work on? Colorado's got a fair amount of money. It's also got a fair amount of people, nine. Um, Missouri? Missouri is nice. She like, uh, well, me, my, some of these Midwest states seem to be doing pretty decently as well with in terms of money. So, like Michigan, wow. Okay, let's go to polling data and we'll fly up over to Michigan. We'll try to get in our, uh, in our two cents over here. We'll talk about auto bailouts. There we go. That'd be something good. So, let's go, go to special interest. Win an endorsement if we can. There we go. We can win yeah, national, there we go, National Union Action Network, which gives auto bailouts plus 10. So they'll, uh, obviously, our people, the Democrats and the Independents will really like that. So, okay. So that, that should overall help us out a fair bit. Uh, also, we'll go ahead and not create an ad, but also build HQ. Go ahead and get some campaign headquarters. Head, campaign headquarters are good because they give you money. Um, so let's go ahead and build some of that give us 10,000 But also we can go to special interest get a higher an operative and we'll go for all oh, we can't get any more fashion consultants Okay, let's go ahead and get a PR consultants media bias 10 plus. Okay, let's go ahead and do that Could also maybe get another one can't we yes hire an operative and go for a spin doctor increases your issue ratings by 15% in the target state or I don't know what should we go for? I just leave it as it is. I'd say uh, we do have uh, we do have a bit more stamina, but we're just gonna leave it. I'm actually rather surprised at how well the last episode went. I was expecting lots of troll comments in the uh, in the comment section just because of the way that the game is. It's like it's obviously very politically oriented, so I thought there'd be lots of people, you know, just uh, bashing Obama or Romney and uh, with no real logic behind. Um, or oh, bashing me as well in the comments like with no real logic okay so he's going for Nevada which is pretty idiotic because it's only got five electoral votes we're going for Michigan right now we want an effect with so it affects like the states around Michigan that would really help us out um, we can go back to build headquarters go ahead and upgrade that for a bit more cash money <laughs> and uh, should we give a speech uh, let's give it actually create an ad about the auto bailouts 
Uh, we'll just do it over here because Michigan's going to be pretty much the only state that really cares about that. As you guys can see around, no one really cares about that state unions. It's only Michigan that really cares about the auto bailouts, it seems like. So we'll go ahead and create an ad, but we'll create a newspaper ad. So change the position on issue, state change one, um, no national bonus and uh, plus 1% change to position per week. So that's pretty good. So we'll go with the auto ballots. Radio increases your national uh, change, gives a national um, change as well. Also increases your state change uh, a little bit more. But let's just go with newspaper. I approve of auto ballots. Republicans want everything to, they uh, really love the free market. So they don't really want anything to do with auto ballots. So don't believe in big governments. All right. So we can't win an endorsement we will be able to win it very soon win something and maybe how about let's head over to back to california and actually uh, we uh, win california we're at 66 percent um, votes our awareness is very high so that's pretty i think awareness actually influences your fundraising so let's actually go ahead and raise some funds 466 percent oh thousand dollars sorry how did i get percent i don't know our fundraising ability is astute Nice. National approval, 49%, but a state awareness, 95%. Okay. So that gave us a fair bit of money uh, just for to spend uh, some other places. I think I'll be able to upgrade this one a bit later. We, oh, we can hire an operative as well. Let's go ahead and not get anyone just yet. We'll save up. So let's go into the next turn. We'll also go to build headquarters. Go ahead and upgrade this by a million. And then I think we should go ahead and up, we can't upgrade it. Oh, it's already at ninety thousand dollars a week, which is a great deal. Uh, there must be a way that we can look at our money. Um, oh God, he's working on Alaska. Alaska's only got three votes, <laughs> so it's not really worth it. How much is Hawaii for? Okay, we probably don't even have to go to Hawaii to be honest. It's just uh, a waste, I'd say. Uh, but there must be an option. Like there must be like some in-depth options that you can look at your money. Um, like your overall tax, your, your overall how much like you're making. Um, we've got much more of the popular votes. But after all, what really counts is the electoral votes. Uh, I'm sure there's a way. You can't. Oh god, there's some way, but obviously I'm not doing it right. Uh, so anyway, let's keep on continuing. Let's see how Obama's going. He's got still lots of stamina. Uh, we can't really go ahead and build the headquarters because we've already worked on that. Uh, maybe oh, I don't want to really fundraise more. Uh, let's go ahead and not do anything over here because we've pretty much done everything I'd want to do. Um, let's go ahead over into uh, Ohio. There we go. Who's that? Is that ours? You're our guy. That's very nice. Okay. Now, Ohio. We should go ahead and talk about Obamacare maybe. Even though the Republicans are really going to hate us. Let's go ahead and oh, win an endorsement obviously. Go ahead and win the National Civil Liberties Union. We're actually, we could actually go for the Tea Party movement if we wanted to, um, which they really love tax cuts. Um, <laughs> that's funny. And the National Gun Owners, Owners Association, obviously they're going to be uh, more more aligned with the Republicans. But let's go ahead and go for National Civil Liberties Union because after all, even though we don't really like Ron Paul, civil liberties are extremely important, especially for all Americans. Um, but... Ron Paul is more of a constitutionalist than a Republican, which uh, I don't really know why he is uh, absolutely in love with a document that's about uh, 200 or so years old. So I don't really understand why Americans are so obsessed with their constitution. It's not it's not perfect, and you guys like pretty much pretend it is, which makes no sense for me. Uh, oh, Romney set up something a Romney outreach center over here in Minnesota. Interesting. Let's go to Wisconsin after this. So, I'm not really sure why you guys absolutely love your guns because isn't it the Fourth Amendment? No, it's the Second Amendment that it allows you to bear arms. But that was in a uh, millennia ago when uh, you, the, a militia could uh, be be made and you could take down your own government. But these days, if you have like a AK-47 and an Abrams tank rolls up on your door, I think I know who's going to win. And uh, it's definitely not the militia or the citizens of America. So I don't really know why you guys want to bear arms against your own army. Oh, you think you'll beat your own army. Anyway, 
let's continue on. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get some troll comments about that, but so let's go ahead and see what we could work on over here. Talk about Obamacare, I'd say, or reducing unemployment. Create an ad about reducing unemployment. Okay, let's create a TV ad. Because that'll help us out. Oh, there we go, that really <laughs> helped out. That was pretty good. And unfortunately, we don't have much more clouds, but uh, we don't really want to fundraise either. Okay, well, I guess what we should do after this is go ahead, special interest, hire an operative, go for a webmaster, decrease your advertising maintenance. Okay, that, that's going to be pretty useful because um, we do have a TV ad, ad and 75% off that is going to help us out. And we do want to be making a bit more money. Ah, there we go. We can see our weekly income. Okay, so we're making about 80 grand a week. Oh, actually, maybe you could have done this assets and then oh, okay. This is good expenses and then your income. Oh, all right. That's really good Okay, that's what I wanted you can look at your advertisements and all your other costs. All right. That's fantastic So I guess we could also head over to Pennsylvania Which is more of a Republican state from memory. I think it, I, oh god Accidental right click um, from memory Pennsylvania is more, has a Republican governor uh, Romney eating Obama's dust after first few weeks of campaign. Damn straight. So uh, you do get these like uh, little newspaper um, inserts um, coming up regularly. Bolting like a hungry cougar out of the sta starting gates, Barack Obama has taken an early lead in the polls, leaving opponent Mitt Romney several steps behind. However, experts are quick to urge Obama not to get cocky. Don't dismiss Romney yet, one pundit noted. With both candidates just getting started, it much, it's much too early to predict a winner. At the Obama camp, staff members are thrilled with the early results. Romney can kiss my Democrat butt, one intoxicated staff member exclamated during a campaign party. In my eyes, he's already lost. Like I've been saying, uh, you just don't mess with my man, present to be Barack Obama. He is already present. And wow, that ad really helped out. Look at that, 51%. So we're targeting these states very, very smartly, I'd have to say. Um, how is that a swing state? How is that a uh, battleground state? I'm not exactly sure. I guess our ad must be influencing Nevada because we haven't really done anything for Nevada. Um, sh so we should go ahead and uh, what did we do? I think we did a... We don't seem to have any ads over here. I think I did a speech. I can't really remember what I did. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some more political capital. Okay. And maybe we should keep on upgrading this. Upgrade. And go ahead and upgrade that. Oh, we don't have enough money. Oh, we need a bit more cash money. So let's head over to... Uh, let's click on state wealth. We can't really go to Texas. Let's go ahead to New York. There we go. And we can go ahead and fundraise over here. There we go, 244 grand. Okay, that was decent. And then we should head over to here. We don't have enough stamina. Also, it does cost money to fly over uh, to states. I'm not exactly sure. 628. I think it just costs 20,000, 25,000 just to fly anywhere. So even if you're flying uh, from the east to west or like anywhere like really far, it still costs you the same amount even if you're just traveling from uh, the next state. So that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and raise some more funds. 451,000. All right, so we have a million now. What should I work on over here? What's this political opportunity? Let's go for this political opportunity then. Let's go back to polling data. And a jaded consultant has joined the Barack Obama for president team. One would ask why the candidate would want the assistance of such a person. The jaded consultant takes 10% of all rankings in this state, but Barack Obama insists. I think the jaded consultants could prove useful once he deals with his issues. Most experts are highly skeptical. The jaded consultant stays in the state you're founding. Lowers your rent. Oh, God. So it can be either positive or negative. Oh, we had like a 66% approval over here, so I can't really complain. Um, yeah, that sucks. Can we move him? Oh, we can't move him. It would be nice if I could move him over to Texas where I don't care. <laughs> oh, but that'd be cheating. Uh, so it's good that you can't do that. Let's go back to polling data. And... Uh, I really like the way that we're going over here. Let's see how much Vermont's really no. I, I'm absolutely amazed at how small Rhode Island actually is as a state. That's absolutely amazing. And I'm just really surprised it's a state. There must be some history. I must look at that. Look into that a bit more. Do we have any other opportunities? I don't think we really have any more opportunities. 
Uh, what I should do is go state wealth again. Let's actually start, let's actually campaign a little bit over in New York. Uh, just for the sake of doing it. So what's really important in New York is reducing unemployment. I think we already do have an ad on that. Oh no, no, no. An ad over here. Yeah, reducing unemployment. So that really helped us out a lot. Um, I also could create another ad about reducing unemployment, which I think would actually help us out a fair bit. So let's create that. It's going to cost us a little bit. We're still making 72 grand. Um, okay. And just go for special interest, hire an operative, and we'll also go for another webmaster. Webmaster, so it'll decrease our advertising. And uh, we should also uh, not raise funds, but go to special interest, win another endorsement. Why is it taking so long for Romney to win endorsements? Hasn't he laid down the groundwork for some more um, PR clout? It's interesting. Let's go for the environmentalists club because we are green hippies. Green marijuana smoking hippies. After all, we do want to make legalize marijuana use. And let's go ahead and just check out some other states that are potentially available for us. Most of these southern states aren't really too important. They've got uh, six, nine, seven, whatever. Probably like one California just takes it over all of them. <laughs> and how the hell have we got Nevada? What's really important? Oh, reducing unemployment must be really important in Nevada. Wow, we're winning the uh, the western states, and well, we'll definitely win the northeast. Southeast will pretty much all be Republicans, and then Midwest will also be Republicans. We do have Florida though, which is an important state to have. Uh, let's maybe go ahead and work on Virginia and like the Carolina, North Carolina to be exact. So let's head over here. We should make a speech. Well, just uh, raise our awareness. So give speech. What do you guys really like? Obamacare? That's what our people like. So let's actually go ahead and talk about Obamacare. Boy, independents don't like it either. But it says over here they don't really care about it. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just take a risk. Oh, it actually did improve our rating. Okay, that's nice. That helps. Okay, um, and uh, let's go for special interest. Hire an operative over here. Uh, let's go for a spin doctor. Uh, or a consultant. Raises your awareness 4% per week. That's actually pretty good. So we have a lot of awareness compared to Romney. Wow. What the hell is Romney doing? We are playing on normal mode as well, so it's not like it's extremely easy. So we'll get beginning that state rather soon. Georgia's got also a lot of electoral votes, so hop on over there. Go to special interest again. We can't do that, but we we can't even win another endorsement. But what we'll be able to do is let's have a think. Let's actually go to uh, build headquarters, and actually I don't really have that much money, um, so I really shouldn't be doing too much. Um, uh, can we upgrade anywhere else? Like any more buildings? Like. Uh, I think we should be able to upgrade this. So let's hop on over. Oh god. Media darling, smile for the camera. Oh god. Right. Oh god. Oh. Helping the aspiring president in the state, she's in by raising all ratings by 10%. Once place cannot be improved. What? Increases all. Oh, all right. Oh, something good happened. I thought it was ready. Because it was ready, it was Republican. All right. So what does that do? Not exactly sure. Should have just actually read that a bit better, but uh, we need to upgrade this building. So let's go to build headquarters. We need a million dollars. Let's go ahead and fundraise over here. Raise funds, 170 grand. That's actually pretty decent. And uh, hop on over to California again, or let's go to special interest. See what we can do. We can't really do anything over here, so I'm not exactly sure whether that's flashing. Oh, we have some media opportunities, and the Republicans have another one. But hop on over to Oklahoma which is going to be another redneck state. Barry King live in Oklahoma. I'm not exactly sure why that's over in Oklahoma. Isn't it like in New York, hosted in New York? Anyway, let's go do it again, because didn't we already do this? Tonight on Barry King Live, my body has undergone partial mummification, and we'll have a panel of medical experts on the show to discuss how that is scientifically possible. Hence why you have Barack Obama. Ah, the lovely woman who watches my grandkids. It's Rosa or Rosita or something like that. She's worried that she'll be kicked out of this country. I don't know about you, but she would would be a less interesting place for me if I didn't have someone around to raise my kids. What's your stance on amnesty for illegal immigrants? All right, so no amnesty. We can't reward people who break the law if they're going illegally. 
uh, going here illegally. They're going home. He wants to raise his last name. <laughs> okay. Um, I fully support. I fully support amnesty program. <laughs> I so want to use. I'm an illegal immigrant myself, but I support an amnesty uh, program. Sounds good. But oh, wow, that actually was really good. I thought it'd be like a bit. I don't, wouldn't think the independents really like that too much, especially in Oklahoma. You know, it's hot today. Can you see the sweat on my brow? My glasses are fogging up. If this is global warming, count me out. Could New York and Washington be swallowed up by floods from melting Arctic ice caps? Oh God, um, uh, Arctic ice caps. I could really use some ice in my dr drink right now. So what are you going to do about global warming? Uh, any drastic change? No. Yeah, oh. Let's go ahead with that. It'll probably be like half. Oh, actually, wow, that was actually really good. And that's it. All right. 